Hello, here's Taylor. I was going to talk about how I've actually been changing up my writing goals. I'm redoing some things in my projects for Scrivener, trying to get things more organized. I got rid of some stuff. Uh, cleaned off my desk in here. I hung up my Oni Dawson wall calendar and I've been using the workbook and I have the planner. I got the 2016 Create Your Shining Year in Life bundle. I didn't get the business bundle. My writing isn't actually a business yet. It will be next year, but you know, I'm saying that. I'm positivity here. Working on these, one of the things that I realized when I was working on this is that you go back through and you look at 2015, what you immediately thought of, what dreams came true during 2015, the lessons that you learned, um, how you know yourself better, what transformed you, even though it was really hard to go through, I know I learned a lot because of, or from, it says, I let go of, I'm happy because of, the incredible thing I discovered about myself, what you're proud of yourself for. So one, some of the things that I listed for 2015 that I immediately thought of, other than the vacation with my husband and my cousin's wedding, my surgery that was in February, television show series Haven Ending. So we got a new fridge at the very beginning of last year. The very, I also got NaNoWriMo and um, hashtag write stuff, the live write-ins, the tweet chats, my YouTube anniversary was in 2015. Um, it had been a year that I've been making videos on YouTube. Yes, I, I lurked for like a year or two before I ever made a video. And I took Arwen's e-course and I just got talking, I got, just got done talking about the tarot. What I outlined my novel using the tarot and the hero's journey and actually made a storyboard with it. I mean, I completely just completely did an outline and I'm actually using it for my novel. I began to really feel a lot better uh, about myself and that's, I learned that I can plan and outline a novel that I am, even though I'm pants at heart, I can plan and outline a novel. Getting organized slowly but surely. I started it in 2015. I am continuing it. Like I said, I have cleaned off my desk. Next up is this dresser over here that has the mirror. I think I'm going to see if I can get the mirror off. I can put some shelves above it. I've been more creative already this year. I was very creative last year. And then as like October rolled around, I was so busy outlining for NaNoWriMo between October and November. I didn't really do very much art journaling. I did a little bit here or there, but I really didn't do very much. I started walking. I went through physical therapy, my shoulders. I did a lot this, this past year. And one of the really big things that I did in 2015 was claim myself as a writer. I started telling people that I'm a writer. I actually, when people ask, what do you do? I'm a writer. Do you have any books published? No, I'm writing my book. I mean, I used to say I was a domestic goddess <laughs> and I still am also a writer. I, believe in myself more. I have less less self-doubt. I won't say that I have I have conquered that because I haven't. I just I have less self-doubt. Writing more. I have a, my own writing space now. I just went in a lot of places. I think it's been it's been actually in every room in the house other than the bathrooms and the kitchen. It's been in the dining room. It's been in the living room. It's been in our bedroom. It's been in this bedroom. It's been in my son's bedroom. It's been in every room room regular room in the house finally in a good place in here and then later on once we do a lot of other things that we have to do like replacing the roof and getting our central heating and air replaced completely I'm gonna get a writing cave it's just gonna take a couple of years those were big accomplishments and yes if you're looking I had my hair cut today it shows a lot more of the dark because that was the underneath was the dark plum purple and the lighter purpley plummy burgundy kind of color was on the top I'm gonna wait until my gray starts showing again and then I will re-dye the whole thing and I will probably go back to the brighter red taking these and I'm combining them 
This little planner is going to be my personal planner and I'm going to be working through it. And for those of you who remember, I used this November and it has my NaNoWriMo stickers on it. Did get some stuff in December on there. And now I'm to January and I have my word count goals and stuff on there. And like I said, I have been writing in Scrivener and I have written today has been uh, so far 100 words. It's been pretty good. Pretty soon my husband's going to be getting up. I hear the first alarm. Sounds like the hobbits, right? Second breakfast second alarm but um so I'm still reading the Suki Stackhouse novels um, as you can see I've been changing things a little bit around here um, I will continue to change things and get things much more organized so that they work for me that was one of the big things I started doing last year and will continue to do this year I'm getting rid of clothes that don't fit I'm getting clothes, I'm getting rid of clothes that I have never worn, will never wear, or only wore like a few times and they weren't comfortable or for whatever reason didn't end up liking them. Um, shoes, same thing. I had like three pairs of shoes that I wore one time and they were just so uncomfortable. I've never worn them again and I'm not going to wear them. I'm, I'm not going to wear them. So they're gone. They're going. They're being donated. I am art journaling. I am reading. I need to catch up on my art journaling for today. Today was really hectic. I had errands to run. I did a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. Not to mention getting my hair cut. And I didn't get a chance to write until this afternoon because I was busy running errands. As a matter of fact, I didn't cook dinner. We had Chinese food. And um, I need, still need to go finish cleaning up my kitchen. I'm going to, um, in a few minutes, close this out and I'm going to go make coffee for my husband because he's going to be getting up because his day is starting and my day is about to end. So, um, but I'm really excited about where the writing is going and I'm really excited about the writing community. It's right tube is getting really big. I've noticed a lot more YouTube videos about writing. I'm, I'm finding a lot more people out there. Three years ago, Four years ago, when I first started looking for videos, every now and again I'd, I'd find some NaNoWriMo videos, Christina Horner's videos, Katie Tastic, Katie Tastic's videos. I found a few that were out there, but there weren't really very many, and especially not people who were in the older category. I'm not calling myself old. I am 48 years old, and I have a beautiful three-year-old grandson. And I'm writing later in life. There are a lot of writers that didn't start writing until they were like in their 40s. Or I think that that's a good thing because there needs, needs to be diversity here in you know, YouTube land, social media. We are not all young adults. adults. But, you know, we really do need a variety. There needs to be some diversity. And I think that that's great. My anyway. A friend of mine just made her first YouTube video and she gave me a shout out. I was so excited that she did her, and it was her birthday today. It was her birthday. So if she's watching this now, happy birthday again. Lately, everybody's been doing the quarterly goals things. Jenna's been doing that for a long while. I watched her video on that. I think it was last year. I didn't really break mine down because I watched, I also watched Writer Goals with Aaron Gansky. How I did my Writer Goals last year. This year, though, because of the Inkwell Press Planner, I went ahead and did them out. I broke them down just like Aaron had said, him, he and his dad. And then I also used what was in the Inkwell Press Planner. So I went from very simple to bigger goals. I had in the middle, and then I broke them down into quarterly goals. Right now, from January through March, my goals right now are to finish draft one of book one to read 15 books, to finish organizing my writing room, along with a few other rooms in the house, to make at least two posts on my blog, on my website, to buy a few new recipes, to do my art journaling, at least to post pictures like every other day or every three days, and to be caught up by the end of every week. To if I can't do it during the week than to get caught up on the weekends. March, I hope to be participating in Nano Edma. At the end of that first quarter, that's my ultimate goal is to be 
in the very first revisions on one of book one so that by the second quarter I am doing the second revision of draft one of book one I am also outlining book two I'm going to read 15 books I'm going to try some more recipes I'm going to organize because by then hopefully this room will be finished and I will start organizing majorly organizing another room like I'm trying to work on only more no more than one or two rooms at a time and different things in each room I'm not going like you know crazy with it I'm just doing it pieces at a time I'm gonna limit myself with oh well you've got to do this room and you've got to do that by this amount I'm not gonna do it that way I'm gonna have a little bit of freedom with this part because when I see something and it starts to really bug me because I am a creative clutter kind of person don't mind clutter but I like my clutter to kind of be organized I mean my desk can be messy but I need I know where everything is when I start to not know where everything is it's way too messy it's time to get rid of shit and to clean up shit so that's but my goal is to get some of this done and you know I can do it little by little like if I see something and it really starts to bug me like today my desk really started to bug me so I cleaned it I organized it tomorrow Hopefully I will get the drawers in here organized and clean and get rid of trash. Be the end of the week, I will organize the drawers over there with the craft supplies. I might save that till next month or till the end of the month. I might do that at the end of the month. Hopefully things will get better and I'm going to go because that alarm's going to drive me crazy. I'm going to go ahead and go make him some coffee. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon. Have a good one.